Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And again this morning, snow ranging anywhere from a coating to two inches in South Kingstown. Still holding on to clouds, but it's a dry atmosphere. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Not finding any snow. Temperatures falling off rapidly already into the teens in some locations. So much colder overnight. Dry skies take hold, at least for now. Next potential storm system arriving later in the work week. We'll show you that in the seven-day future cast. Meanwhile, in Providence, cloudy skies, and that's it, only 19. It feels like 5. You tack in a brisk northerly wind at 16, produces a wind chill now in the single digits. That north wind, though, is actually reinforcing the dry air humidity at only 39%, so it's really hard to create any significant precipitation when the air is that dry. Down to 10 already in Worcester, 16 in Smithfield, and low 20s along the south shore. Some spots will get down to 10, 11 degrees by tomorrow morning, so setting up for a very cold night. You can see the uh, core of the cold air sitting right on top of us right now. In fact, single digits to near zero in northern New England. Now, we are watching a band of snow uh, off to our south and west, and normally I'd be a little concerned about this. It's a steady shield of moderate to at times heavy snow, but the thrust of it's going to pass uh, out to sea just to our south. So we get grays with the cloud cover, but the snow is essentially New York City and south, so it is a miss and no snow overnight tonight, but turning colder, partly to mostly cloudy skies, will give way to some clearing towards daybreak by 5 o'clock in the morning. It's only 12 above on average, though some spots will be a little colder. So it's a very cold start tomorrow morning, unlike this morning, minus any snow. Sunrise at the 628. We'll start with sunshine 10 early on, later during the morning commute at around 19. And with sunshine in the afternoon, temperatures recover only upper 20s to around 30. So a better part of the day staying below freezing sunset time at 525 along the south shore with sunshine temperatures in the low 30s 32 in Newport northwest breeze at 12 to 18 Coventry at 30 northern suburbs in the upper 20s from Boroughville to Johnson to Cumberland at around 30 on that northwest breeze and some sunshine and out across southeastern mass chilled sunshine on New Bedford at 31 as well as Westport and Seacock at 30 in fact next couple of days at least through Thursday, staying storm-free. Then we're watching a system approaching on Friday, but with it should come mild air. So at this point, we're leaning more towards a rain scenario rather than snow coming up on Friday. We'll still keep an eye on it. So cold next couple of days. We'll finally crack 40 degrees on Thursday with sunshine, mid-40s with rain rather than snow for Friday. A bit of a break on Saturday, 39. Next system, maybe a combination of both rain and snow for Sunday with a high temperature between 35 and 40. So staying quiet this week. We don't see the kind of temperatures that we saw last week with readings in the 60s. For the most part, cool to cold. Though towards the end of the week, we do get temps back up into the 40s. TJ's in tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. with your updated future casts. And I'm sure... Uh, Mayor Fung would rather see raindrops than snowflakes. I think a lot of mayors would <laughs> probably appreciate uh, the wet stuff this time around. Okay, thank you, Tony. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, an angry mob attacks a news crew and the beating is caught on camera. And Jack Russell 